sorry, I kept missing you. Do you have a few minutes right now, Scott? Yeah. All right, cool. So, hey, um, I'm just kicking this around. So, you're with TAS, is it TASA Studios? TASCA Studios. T-A-S? C-A. Okay. Dude, so let me tell you what I think I'm looking for. Okay, so overall, I'm a financial advisor, okay? Okay. And when I looked on your website, it looked like you guys had, like, some were more like commercial uh, themed and some were more like branding themes, right? Yep. Um, so first and foremost, do you work with financial advisors or attorneys just so I can get an idea of what those look like so I can get in my head what, what I want to do? Yeah. Um, we've, um, actually we've done some stuff for my, um, my accountant as well. He's an accountant slash financial advisor. I could send you the videos we've done for him. Um, what exactly, what are you trying to do? So, yeah, <laughs> That's a great question. Um, I focus on like retirement plans, like pension plans, like 401k, right, for companies. Uh-huh. So um, I'd like to do something in the Palm Beach area. And I'm just trying to get a cost of what it would do to, first of all, build this thing. And then the second thing is, I don't know if I got to buy time, like through one of the local channels, you know, so that they can like, um, put it out there. I don't know how that works, right? Mm -hmm. So I got to build something and then I got to find out a means to send it out, I guess, right? Yep. Okay, so I guess building it would be the first thing that I want to look at and then sending it out, whether it's through social media or, or, or a company that does that stuff or through emails. That's what I'm looking at doing. So um, if it's a 15 or a 30 second spot, or of an advertisement or a branding that I want to do, that would be great. Um, because there's not a lot of people in my industry that are doing a lot of these videos. And because my area is so, so it's, it, it's a specialty skill set um, with retirement pension stuff, um, that's kind of where my, my focus is to really go after um, small, mid, or large sized companies. Um, to be able to advise or consult on their retirement plan. So that's kind of like my thought is to either do a branding thing or an introduction on myself or, you know, just something. That's kind of where I'm at. I don't know if that helps. It helps a little bit. Uh, what's your website real quick? So you take a look, get an uh, idea. Oh, uh, it's awful. It's awful. <laughs> it's, I, I don't, okay, it's. Okay. Root dot com. Oh. All right, I found it. Okay. So, uh, how are you getting leads right now? How are you talking to people? Yeah, so that's a great question. So, I've been doing this over 22 years, and I don't do anything. All my, all my, uh, it's all referrals. I work with attorneys, CPAs, and other financial advisors that don't do what I do. Mm hmm. So, um, I've kind of like, you know, with all this whole COVID thing, you know, um, I got the itch to maybe do some cool marketing and I'm thinking, you know, it'd be kind of good to, 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 um, to maybe do a video, just something different that no one's doing and just to see what, what it would do. So, um, I don't use my website. I haven't updated my website in probably 15 years or whatever. Um, I don't use it. I don't use LinkedIn. So I have a really good business, but um, I don't spend money, I guess, right? I have not updated that stuff. So um, I just like to do maybe a, uh, like a video, I guess. But I don't know this stuff, so that's why. Got it. I mean, I think the fact that you're, you're thinking about doing this stuff is super important, especially uh, nowadays. Um, so with this video, let's say we shoot a video, and I know you talked about doing a commercial. With the commercial, where are you going to send those people to? Um, yeah, I guess I never thought, see, yeah, uh, yeah, I guess, wh where do I send them? Um, I guess they would have to go to my, my website. Yeah, I mean, website phone number, and the reason I ask these questions is like, when we, I work with a lot of businesses, I'm I'm the owner here, is like, I hate shooting a video for, like, I'm not the agency that's like, hey, I need a video, I'm like, cool, I'll shoot you anything you want. 
I want to make sure the video is going to work for you. So the reason I'm asking you these questions because like if you're going to invest money into a video, I want to make sure the video works for you. So I, I like being thoughtful about what we do for our clients. Um, so that's the reason I'm just bringing these things up. We do commercials for a lot of different companies. Um, I just don't know if you necessarily need a commercial just yet because of what you said of like, you know, not really having people go to your website. So I think like with a video that either you can have on your website that like, do you spend a lot of time explaining to people what is exactly that you do? Yeah. Yeah. So I think no, you don't. Okay. Yeah. No. I, well, see, that's the thing. I don't know if it's a branding thing that I just want to introduce myself. Like I see the attorneys and they just basically, you know, in the morning, you know, I know they spend a ton of money because the attorneys are just, you see one of the attorneys, they talk about their firm and what they do and then, you know, that's it. But I think it's more branding, right? Because branding is, you know, it, I don't want to be viewed just as like just another financial advisor because there's a million of them. But if the message is simply to employers that provide retirement plans, you know, or pension plans, uh, you know, I, I guess that's where it's at, I guess. So, I don't know. Who, so who, I, yeah, I don't know the answer to this stuff yet. Yeah. No worries. Um, that's where we're having this talk. So you're trying to reach the employers for these retirement communities or... Yeah, so if you're the president or the CFO or the CEO of a company in West Palm Beach and you got 100 or 3,000 employees, you offer them like a 401k retirement benefit. So that's what I do. I basically serve the retirement plan as the consultant or as the financial advisor. Mm -hmm. um, and, and there's not a lot of people that do what I do because it's a specialty skill set. So my audience is really employers, business owners, small to large. Mm. And if they provide like a 401k benefit to their employees, well, then I would be the advisor that helps them manage that 401k. Got it. So, you know, then there's a lot of stuff going on in the 401k business or the industry because there's a lot of lawsuits with expenses and fees and returns and the employees are like, there's a lot of turnover with employees. So the benefits are being paid out much quicker than they should be. So these, these companies are saying, shit, not only is it hard for me to recruit new employees because it's hard to get people to work today, I guess, but they're having a hard time managing their retirement, their pension plan. They, the market's high and they got people taking money out and there's tax implications. So for a company that's, that has a 401k for their employees, that's not only struggling with their employee base, whether it's recruiting or retaining them, mm -hmm. they're all struggling with all of these fiduciary responsibilities they have to maintain these plans. So it's a great time right now to help these employers put a, a retirement benefit in place that's going to help them recruit the employees to get them to their companies and then retain them long term because they're going to give them some good retirement stuff benefits. So my audience is not the individual employees because most employees don't give a crap about the 401k as far as going to website. My audience would be any business owner that has employees that's having a hard time looking to recruit and retain people today. Mm -hmm. I want to help them build the very best retirement platform for their employees so the employees can say, look, the compensation is good. I like the job there, but because you pay a little bit more into my retirement, that's really a good benefit for me. So when I retire, I'm going to have something where a lot of other companies are like, I'll pay you a dollar more an hour, but I'm not going to give you any retirement. Yeah. Um, so companies are struggling, as you know, with getting people to work and blah, blah, blah. So right now is a good time for me to maybe look at sending that message out, maybe because, again, it's a skill set that I do. It's a need that employers have today because it's not all based on, you know, getting somebody an extra dollar or two an hour. It's really about the whole benefit and compensation package that they give employees. Mm -hmm. So that's kind of my audience. I don't know how to send, I don't know how to, how to, how to build that message in 15 or 30 seconds, but that's kind of a thing that I've been kicking around of doing. And I could certainly come up with it just like I'm like talking to you about it, you know? Yeah. I mean, the way that you just broke it down to me right now, I think that's like, that's your video right there. So do you do anything on LinkedIn? 
No, I hate it. You hate it? <laughs> no. Knowing what I know, and if I was in your shoes, I would not do a TV commercial. I would do a video. I will do, like, probably a couple of short different videos talking about what is it that you do. I would spend time on LinkedIn because with LinkedIn, you're going to be able to actually target these business owners or the people that are in charge of HR and put this video in front of them. Because what are you going to do with with the lawyers and stuff like that, it's such a general public that like anyone like car accident, right? <clears throat> anyone has a car accident can relate to the TV commercial stuff. With what you do, it's so niche down that the audience that you're going to be showing to on television, you're not going to get the best return on your investment doing it through television. While LinkedIn is such a, a niche platform with business driven people that have all the details of like, because you can go on LinkedIn and like find me businesses that have over 100 employees, right? And then you can show these videos and start, you just said about building brand, right? That's where you can build brand that ran a TV commercial. To me, you know, we classified that more as an advertisement than I would say building a brand. That's just my, you know, two cents with, you know, what I've known and seen here. Yeah, that's good. All right, so so a video would be for commercial TV. It'll be more directed through like some social media platform. Yeah, so like I think exactly what you just told me, I think having that in a video of, you know, in your website that kind of explains what is it that you do, why you specialize in this, and then like either like tips, like, hey, you're experiencing these problems, you know what I mean, like hitting pain points, and then you could have that video and their social media or like Facebook and LinkedIn. And then that's driving traffic back to your website, which has, you know, a one or two minute video that kind of talks about everything that you just do and how you specialize in this and what makes you different. Um, I think that to me personally will convert better because I'll tell you right now, TV advertisement, it's not cheap and it's not as effective for what they charge. Okay. But that's, you know what I mean, that's... So most of your clients that do videos, they're using the videos not only for their website, but also for, like, LinkedIn or social media stuff, Facebook? Yeah, it depends. Where they're getting yeah, it depends. Traction? It depends on the client. Like, the strategy I'm giving to you, it's a very different strategy than, like, we work with a really big law firm here in South Florida, and we're pumping out TV commercials for them, but... For what, like, they, we do, like, uh, workman's comp commercials, you know, car crash commercials. Those are all the commercials that fit within the general public. With lawyer stuff, it's harder to run on social media because there's certain guidelines that you're not allowed to talk about certain things. It's like, there's a lot of great areas with that. So with TV, we're able to run those commercials, and it makes sense for them. Like, for my accounting client, we run ads for them so we can actually get people to sign up for their accounting services through social media because we can do way more narrow targeting versus what they're going to do in TV. Because TV, they're going to be like, hey, we're going to show you a commercial 700 times on these channels throughout, you know, the month or something like that. And you don't know who those people are. And I think that's the big thing with like the TV commercials is like they're running the TV commercials for you, but you don't actually get to see what kind of traffic is going to your website. There's things that you could do. Like you can put a specialty phone number on the ad that people need to see, but here's the thing. People need to see that ad and then remember your phone number to then want to call you. So like the steps for them to actually get in a hold of you through TV commercial is a little bit harder, but like, for the lawyer, they're running like five or six commercials and it's like a lot. So for them, they are building that brand, but they're also dropping like, you know, a month on TV ads. Right. Got it. Yeah. 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 Right. Yeah. All right. Um, so knowing that if I wanted to do that through LinkedIn, I, well, I, and that means, well, you brought up a good point, but then I certainly need to spend some money. Um, updating my website because that's going to be the first place that, correct? Yeah, I'll start at your website. Yeah, you've seen it. <laughs> yeah, sorry. It's not I've seen it. It's um, like, I think, I, I think it's, your website's not bad. Uh, I mean, it's definitely, it's like a little outdated, but I think you have good information on here. It's, I mean, I've worked with clients that, you know, had worse websites, but I just, I want to tell people if you're going to spend money and in the marketing aspect of things, you want to make sure that wherever you're sending them to is going to help 
convert. Because like, if you're just adding gasoline to the fire and there's no strategy on how those people are going to contact you, then it's not going to properly work. And that's the last thing that I want to happen to my clients. Got it. All right, cool. Um, so let me ask you, so um, do, do we even keep talking about um, like what a 15 or 30 second video would cost? And, and do like two or three of those for LinkedIn purposes? Is that like a package or how, did, how, how does all that work? So it depends. With with you, so we're kind of like a bespoke video agency. I can help you in a couple of different ways. I can show you, I'll, I'll tell you what, when we finish here, I'll show you, because my accountant kind of went through the same thing. They've been in business for a very long time and their website is outdated and they kind of came to me with the same thing. We actually redid their website for them and then created these videos for them. So I kind of created a package uh, that worked for them. I could show you what that would look like um, just as you definitely something be interested in. And we could also shoot the videos for you. I just, like I said, we're not in your business. To like, I, I don't want to just take your money to shoot your video and then be like, hey, good luck. Hope this works for you. Got it. Yeah, like that's not, I mean, most of our clients have been with us for like over four years now because like I'm as involved in your business as I am in mine. Okay. No, that's cool, man. I appreciate it. All right. So, um, no, you gave me a lot of good information and I, I appreciate your time, Rodrigo. Um, you know, again, I, I don't know what I'm supposed to know when it comes to this. So, um, all right, cool. Um, I've got your info, so I guess like if, if, if I wanted to follow up after I get some kind of a better plan together, I can reach out to you and we can talk further. Yeah, so let me ask you this real quick, Howard. Like, ballpark, just so I can know what I could do for you, like what, what number did you have in your head that you were going to want to spend on creating videos? Um, I mean, initially, like, I don't, I, I had five grand in mind to say, look, if I can put a $5,000 video together, um, I don't know how long that would be. And I don't know if, if, if that's on the low end or on the high end, I have no idea, but I was like, 5,000 is what I had in mind. Okay. Um, we could definitely make something work for that 5,000. Um, I'll put together like a, a email going over what I think a good strategy for you would be with the video and then what, and I'll show you the example of what we did for our accountant's website through kind of before and after and see if that's something oh, yeah. that you'd no, be interested what, in. Yeah. Yeah. Is it, is it on your website? Cause I'm on there now. Oh, uh, let me see. Tasker Studios. Let me see. You got a brain yeah. video. Uh, I actually don't. That's kind of cool. Cause it talks about what they do, TV commercial business interview. Yeah, so I mean, Southeast is another client of ours that we went for a couple of years. We're, like, what their strategy was, um, you know, we did a brand video for them, but then we also did a shipping video because they do all luxury high end cars. So, what I like to do with video is save you time, right? So, there's anywhere that we can implement video that's going to help educate your clients. So, with them, he always had questions how do the cars get shipped? So, like, let's shoot a video for that. Let's put it in your website. So, every time somebody has a question, they're going to watch this video. You can send them that way. So, when you have that follow up phone call, you're having a more educated conversation with the client. So, like, all the hurdles that you have to jump about explaining these things, you no longer have to go through that because now you're using video as part of your marketing strategy. Got it. Oh, Got shit. it. Um, There's one that's Ben Dentistry. River Ben, that's another one of ours. Um, Jupiter Farms Dentist. <laughs> okay. If you want to take a look, it's uh, the, my client's website for the accounting. Mm -hmm. It's uh, S-M-A. What is it, Frank? Uh, uh, S for Sam, M for money, A for Apple, uh, C for Carter, P for Pro, A, A for Apple, and then firm, F-I-R-M dot com. Yeah, so we actually did their website for them, and then um, we... Oh, you guys do websites too? 
It depends on the client. I don't offer it to everybody. I think your website's very similar to their website in the past. So like there's, like I said, we're very bespoke with who we offer what to, but we did their website for them because they came to me like, hey, I want to do this video. I was like, bro, I want to help you. But if I do this video for you and you put it in your website and like it's not optimized, people can't find you, the video is not going to work. And like, I don't want to do you like that. Like, I want to make sure it works. So like, we'll do the website for you. We'll, we'll put the video together. So that way, like, there's a flow to it. All right, cool. So they're doing, yeah, they do wealth management too, which is interesting. But are they, um, so if you, services truck? Yeah, so if you scroll down, there's the, the photo of the three guys there. There's a video. That's one of the videos we did for them. Which, oh, that's a video? Yep. Hey, look, sorry. Uh, with the three guys on there? Yeah. Oh, yeah. That, yeah sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so this is like 24, yeah, so a 24 second video and it's got them just talking. Yeah, that's cool. So what does something like that cost? Yeah. I think the whole thing for them when we redid their website and so we did that video, we did another video, it was around like six or 7,000. So that included the website and the video? Yep. Um, so let me ask, Rodrigo, let, let me ask you this because that's interesting. Um, See, in our industry, I have to have disclosures on there, you know? Uh -huh. You know, I've got securities disclosures. Maybe you do that for financial advisors. Are you familiar with that? It's kind of fucked up sometimes, to be honest with you. Uh, um, say that again? Yeah, <laughs> sorry. In, in our industry, we got we are, like, over-regulated by the SEC. Uh -huh. and so we have to have, like, certain securities disclosures. So... If you were to just take just what I have now and clean it up, and is that something you can do while keeping all the disclosures there? I mean, is it is it a is it a new platform? Because I think the old platform that they built my website on right now is no longer in use. Mm -hmm. It was built by the street or something, and I know they keep calling me saying, "Dude, we got to update your platform because we don't use it." But then obviously they want like twenty grand or whatever they want. I don't know, some stupid. But yeah. So so is this something of a project that you would consider doing, which is updating my website on whatever new platform and putting a, a twenty five second video together as well? Yeah, it's something we could do. Okay. Do you need to look at my and and what I'll do is I'll find out from my compliance people what I need. I don't think I need to use certain companies for websites, but I think, you know, because sometimes they'll say you can only use these three companies because they're probably getting paid on the back side of it. Mm -hmm. um, but if I could use you and then I have a problem with it, as long as all the disclosures are there, I don't think they give a shit, right? Yeah, to me, ooh. Yeah, I mean, because the website, because there's a bunch of different website building platforms. I think as long as all the content, all the disclosures are on there, then that like you know it shouldn't impact anything that you do because you're literally you know you're, you're just changing the appearance of the website there's nothing else that changes about it yeah that's exactly right because the message has been pretty much consistent so anytime i do get a referral and people go to my website i guess they just want to know that i'm a legitimate business and i have a business right because mm -hmm. it's not like they're going to go through every single page and they're going to read every article and every everything that i have on there right correct I mean, how, how much time do people spend on a website if they're looking for service, like a minute? It depends. Um, you know, the best way to, to really do it is to look at your Google Analytics. Everyone's different. My average spend time on my website's around three minutes. And like, I can get like real nerdy on this, but that's where the video comes into play, right? Because the longer somebody spends time on your website, it signals to Google that your website's more relevant. So the more relevant your website is, the higher Google will rank your website because they want people to spend more time on the internet. So having a video yeah. there boosts your time, it helps boost your time that people stay on your website. So like I can like I said, I can get real nerdy on this, but like this is what this is what we do here. All right, cool, man. All right, so I'm gonna see what I need to do to update my website. And if and if they say just make sure that whatever you build has basically the same disclosures, the same, you know, because cosmetically it's going to look different, but clearly the message would be the same, essentially, right? Exactly. So if you can look at that, I mean, do you want to just put a proposal together once you look at it? Yeah, so, I'll, uh, put, I'll put together an email. 
going over everything, and then we'll, when we agree, I'll put together a proposal with everything on it. Okay, cool. All right, so do you want me to get back to you on anything, or...? Yeah, just let me know about regarding the website, if that's, you know, for able to do it or not. And then I'll put together the email and then I'll follow up with you in a day or two. If you, you see it and you're like, hey, I want to move forward, then just give me a call and you will know we'll get the ball rolling. Okay. All right. And, and, and just again, to clarify, the West Palm Beach CPA that you did, mm -hmm. um, SMA CPA firm, right? Yep. These guys. You guys did their website, correct? Yeah, so we actually so we actually redid their website. We did the video, all their photos that you see of, of like their team. We actually I went in, we did headshots for the whole team. Like if you go to the their uh, who we are page, uh, right. we did all the photos for them on there for their team. So we want to make you look good. That's that's my goal. Okay, and the other thing that I noticed is the video, apparently that's actually out there on YouTube, so uh -huh. you guys are housing the video, right? No, we're not. So that's something else that um, if you actually go to, let me do this real quick. Hey, are you along with the... Let's see, that's your money. Yeah, I mean, it's a clean website. That's what I want. I want some simple. They know what we do. So like if you go to uh, if you go to YouTube and there's something else that we could do for your for your site, we actually do SEO optimization. But like if you go to YouTube and you type in West Palm Beach CPA, you're gonna see that their videos are the ones that are pop up first on YouTube, which also helps with your Google ranking. Uh, okay, and that's something you guys help of yep. putting them up there. Correct. So there's like, is that an extra fee that comes up for that? Um, I mean, I could put this all together in, into the cost for you. Yeah, I don't know how that, yeah. Because, yeah, I just did that, and they were like one of the first that came up. Yeah, they're the top, they're the top two. So we're not the company that you're like, hey, I need a video, we shoot it, and then you're like, good luck. I'm the company that's like, hey, I want to make sure this video works from you from the beginning to the end. Okay. All right, good deal. All right, man. All right, let me let me chew on all this. I appreciate it. And um, do, do you need my email? Or do you, you don't need anything from me right um, now? I have your phone number. What's your email? Um, I'll give you my personal. I'll uh, get back to you shortly. All right, Rodrigo. Really I appreciate it, brother. Thank you. All right, man. Take care. Bye. Boy.